Hello there, welcome back to the channel here. I have a three versus three game here on Mudflow, which is one of the expanding front sort of scripty maps that chooses a bunch of different terrains, um, but it'll sort of end out the same way where you've got the swamp in the center where a lot of the carbon's situated and there's a lot of extra resource nodes of ore and Nova on the map. But ore seems to be the, the more dominant one and uh, it's quite important in this game. Creates some interesting opportunities in terms of strategy. Uh, getting into the teams here, we've got Hunter here in the grey playing the uh, resistance in the pocket position. And then we've got this uh, smoky Venus here, I'm not sure who this is, in the confederacy in the yellow. Attacker die here in the orange and the black sun. And then on the other team we have Granuli here in the red with the rebel alliance in the pocket. And Ashman here in the blue Wookiees, and lastly, the hero here playing the Zan Consortium. So yeah, the ore can create some opportunities for more fortress-centric play. Um, a lot more shield generators and stuff. Um, the advanced turrets and things like that, and you know, like turret booming, maybe in tank level 3. You could build turrets to protect yourself from strike mechs, which you kind of maybe need to just make essential on a map like this just because of the way that the trees are. There's not really any carbon that you can hyper focus on at the back and a lot of opportunities to run round. It's not like a very wally map. You've got shallows that interrupt things as well. It just feels very very open and then there's going to be a lot of elevation bonuses to mess around with and watch for too when you take trades and stuff. Decent-ish amount of food. There's a lot of these fambas that could probably be lured with a scout, but I mean you might end up just making a food processor here This could be quite open on the wings as well for rushing aggression You can see that there's not really much distance here between attack and Ashman and Really what I would have liked to see is one of the players just go for these fambas and Then just make trooper recruits or something like that. I don't know to defend them and fight over things could probably like build towards your opponent I guess. You do have to watch out though if you overextend too much in your, your pocket because Granuli's quite far away. Once the pockets get to T3 uh, that could affect things but I would love to see people fight over you know resource spawns like this. I believe Jorts made a map that's the center is just basically a wild hunt like this. Not lurable hunt but like Fambas and EOPs and things like that. Which would encourage a much more um, Early trooper recruit kind of style, I think, rather than the mounties. Uh, got some carbon process getting dropped down here. Double nerf nursery. So there must be a lot of nerfs on this one. Up to twelve or so. Some fambas getting lured here. Well, Smokey Venus must be someone. He's whipping out the scout lure. Even after messing up a little bit, trying to delete it a little bit there. See any trooper, trooper center here? Power core for hero. That's not looking too good for our Smoky Venus here. We've got troop center up, power core up. Mounty should be on the way, rallied to the carbon here. Does get himself housed though. No uh, second house in sight. That's <sighs> losing a lot of his uh, his strength to his aggression there, because we could be halfway to the second mountain right now. Troop center power core going down here for Ashman. Same for attack. Pockets. Not getting up too much. It's, it's kind of just, sometimes it feels like you can get quickly from pocket to pocket on this map, and other times not, because you can see there's some of these trees end up really really thick here. I'm not sure if there's a path or not. Worker going down there to check for basic training. He died so quickly. And there's still no power core yet for Smoky Venus. Looks like a lot of those Famba workers are now on carbon, desperately trying to get the uh, the carbon needed. And two Mounties now here. But if we think about it, this could be three Mounties right now, which would just be kind of, I don't know, I, I think it's kind of death really. Just 
Okay, getting focused down there as well. Not looking good for uh, Smoky Venus here. And the mounties from Ashman hitting over here, but we've got a trooper. No, it's a medic. Medic and two mount. This one's uh, not involved though. I don't think I've ever seen Ashman with three mounties. I think it only ever makes one and it dies. Well, the second one comes after the first one dies. He's running away here, luring the mountain away. Trying to kill off some workers. It looks like Smoky Venus did manage to stabilize getting this trooper recruits. A lot of workers seem to be lost though. Turret down, T2. They got some of their own mounties to go and counter attack, but there's more coming here from here. And Ashman and Attack are just fighting sort of one mounty rally at a time here over this sort of hunt, but Ashman has no stake in it really. Or he's getting no stakes out of it. Smokey Venus pushing Hero out of the base here. And where are the pockets at? About to click the button for Cornelia. Oh, Cornelia kind of struggling a little bit with his build here because you can see the Hunter almost halfway to T3. I think there's a lot of opportunity here in a 3v3 with that kind of difference in speed we're getting to T3 to uh, get some damage on the wings here. Or alternatively go straight towards Cornelia trying to weaken him and then shift the pressure onto the wings. And um, with how long these guys are fighting over mounties and stuff, I mean, Ashman triple troop center here for his mounties. Workers on Nova. He's going to be trapped in T1. No, Oh, he did get to T2. An interesting build from Ashman. Is he using all three of these? No. <laughs> Doesn't mean he needed three. Looks like he's managed his T1 equal quite well. I suppose he does have 12 nerfs. Really help out. Cosmetic troop centers. That's what they are. Getting a war center now as well. It's a, a lot of carbon compared to food. And a lot of fambas he could have been munching on as well. And two workers running across. I'm assuming they're going to go build a turret somewhere. Here, I've still got some units hanging around here in the outskirts. That should be a double air base for Hunter. Only one. Nope, that's the wrong hockey. That is not control A. That's the speech recognition from Windows. It's not what we're looking for here. Attack's really in trouble here. A lot of mounties here to his one. He has a T2. And the economy ends up very split, right? He's maybe made a bad decision taking that Nova rather than the one that's next to his car, but in the troop centers. Mr. Falump. A little bit of a trade here between uh, Smokey and Hero. Very low trooper trades though, so no matter who, who wins, the, the damage that follows up is not really that much. And Hero's economy is quite isolated at the back here, but might be in trouble if uh, some fighters come his way. Looks like some mounties from Hero, he sent them across to uh, Hunter here, delaying things a little bit. He's like, looks like he's killed a worker, and he stopped this air going where it wants to go initially, and that's going to let Granuli here catch up a little bit. Attack trying to do the same thing with one mount here, but not really going to get anything done at all. Getting chased by one of Ashman's as well. That turret did go up from Ashman. Keeping attack off the berries here. Maybe uh, hampering his ability to get up to tech level 3, though there's still a lot of food to be grabbed up here on the right hand side. And it looks like those three troop centers are now in force, pumping out the Wookiee soldiers. Sending them across to attack. And really bad micro there from Hunter, just losing his three fighters to for basically one fighter, one and a half. Encouraging a Smoky Venus to pressure there at that moment, but since Hunter lost the trade, those fighters can just kill the troopers for free basically. Let's Ashman go for a second turn right here. Yeah, it's not very ambitious, that one, though. 
He probably should have been about here or something. But he is crawling. Has he got workers on work? No. And attack, managing to get a little bit of a counter attack here. And the three troop centre is completely inactive, despite the fact he could build the soldiers to defend himself here very quickly. In fact, with one rotation, he could actually take a trade with them. And fighters from Hunter getting over here now, and this is dis disaster. He's going to lose all that aggression. He's lost quite a few of his workers here in the Nova. And Grenouille going to be racing over here to help out, I suppose. It did look like Hunter was going to fly his fighters over there, but he has uh, chosen not to. And that looks like a bad time. Right up against the, the edge of the trees and the ore, trying to get away, running back and forth, and I think the Diamog is going to get a kill, surely. <laughs> what was that? That's almost trolling from that troller. Does manage to get some distance here. Has he got any troopers at hand? Does. He could just go and shoot it. Let's get away here, but it's seriously affecting the uh, the economy here. And Ashwin pushing forward here again. Bit of a trade here in the centre. Both on patrol, I think. Grenouille and Hunter getting the, the better of that. But at the same time, Grenouille coming over here with some fighters, trying to kill off some workers and helping Ashman build prefab shelters in the tank space. Does get that second turret up. And Hunter got some fighters moving towards Grenouille's base. It's kind of, I don't really like this move to raid with like three fighters because... I mean, you could just build two and kind of come over and take a trade when you're not looking. I think it's sort of wasteful. Four fighters here. There's three at hand. How many workers will they get? Just the food that's being harassed. I don't know if it's as important to hit the Nova or something like that. Do you have nerfs? This is what I mean. Like, I, I don't think this is a good decision because you. Can I just lose two fighters on your opponent now? Or like a worker? I think I value the fighters. I don't think the worker really means anything. Whereas the fighters represent your your overall strength, how you can affect your wings, how you can affect the game, the posture. This almost looks like some sort of fluffy rabbit versus fluffy rabbit one v one right now. Just anti-air troopers and towers. There are so many anti-air troopers everywhere here. It looks like uh, Smoky Venus. Sorting out his economy. Must be on the way to T3, yeah. I would have thought. Almost there. Double mech factory ready to spam out. Power droid covering the, uh, the shipyards as well. I don't know where all the fighters are at. Looks like Hunter's building a lot of like prefabs and sentry posts in the centre to try and keep an eye on the uh, the fighters from Grenouille. So he can take some better trades, give himself a little bit more time to harass here. And this is really bad for Hero here. Like all these workers trying to get a command centre next to this sort of carbon in the centre. The fighters getting over on top of them and they should probably all die before um, Grenouille can save them. And this, this would even be worth probably trading the fighters for. But like, that's huge in terms of an advantage here for the wing versus the wing. Like, you delay that command center, you kill a lot of workers. It's going to feel quite, and he even gets away here. Brunelli on his, his tail here in pursuit, but I'm going to catch up. I can see that here it did have four strike mechs here. In Smokey's base. Smokey's built quite well though. It's quite a nice base architecture in the way that they've sort of crawled towards the tree line. Yeah, it feels like the hero has to go all the way around here and to get into this sort of pocket first. Which means he's got the base in between him and his reinforcements. So a little bit tricky. These guys are going to get sniped a little bit though. Plus two damage on these, should kill workers fairly quickly. A couple of Grens coming out. Should be T3 though. Extra coming out now. 
grand completely missing. Those grants are probably just a waste of time if you can build a mech destroyer. Better to put those resources into the mech upgrades at this point for the scaling. It's like what, 180, 70 or something like that. And the strike's trying to just ignore the mech destroyer. Double mech destroyer now though, I don't think they can really get much more done. Look at the frigates here hanging out. Anti-air destroyer. It's trying to focus down the mech destroyer, but when there's two of them, the MDs are going to win on DPS there for sure. He's also got armor too, which is huge in that kind of matchup. And you can really get in to see the hunter, hunter's uh, fighter count there. Does can really have fighters? Where are they? Look at like two. Wow. Some sort of terraced hill farming going on here. Looks quite cool. There they are. They're like some Incan farming. A lot of mechs getting created here. Some strike mechs. Upgrades getting pushed through. Haven't seen Smokey perform a counter attack as of yet. A lot of strike mechs still here at home for Hero to defend, but. Doesn't have the. Uh, the oh god. So you say it doesn't have the fishing differential, but these guys are absolutely lost here. That can be a little bit of an issue on this map as well, as you've got the water in the shallows and it doesn't break off and that sort of aesthetic look. We are, uh, the paths are limited. There seems to be a lot of idle guys here for Smokey. And the fighter is coming across here. What is this shield generator? I guess it protects his ore and he's maybe setting up to hit this from the side. Maybe you can rival on the elevation there. You're really just coming right in here and just killing off the, uh, the anti-air troopers. See, there's a lot more fighters here for Hunter, though. I feel like he's had the, the much more solid T3. Both air sieves, though, and both pretty good air sieves. Mirabel's probably edge it, though, with their better interceptors and their regen, but... Resistance do get all that, like, extra Nova and stuff. Maybe not, doesn't matter too much in this map with a little extra pedals, though. Three hollows is a big differential though, Mars picked up here in his uh, Jedi Temple opener. Whereas we just went Spaceport Mac Factory here for Granulli. And, oh, yeah, I don't really rate this from Granulli again. Yeah, he's going to lose some fighters here. And building a fortress here on the side of Ashman and attack. But I think, yeah. Hmm. Greenly really does have a few more workers than Hunter here. But what Hunter does have is a really healthy air count. And he's going to hit T4 first here. So we'll see what results of that. I mean, the ideal thing for Hunter to do right now is to basically just fly towards Granuli's base, even now, and get the upgrades, and probably just hit him as soon as he gets fast fighter. And just blitz him. Try to kill off whatever fighters he has, pin him down there, and then once the shields come in, he can just camp the base, and then you could rally, like, attackers or bombers or something like that. You could play a very just air style. There's a lot more room to do that, I think, here in a, a 3v3. Because I think, in t by scale, the wings end up a lot further behind the pockets in the 3 by 3 A lot more heavily focused in their aggression. You can see the, a lot in there. We've got like, the crazy forward here from Ashman, who's pushing with some troopers right now. Managed to knock down one of the nurseries and grab the nerfs away. Advanced mounties, too. Attack just seems to really have anti-air troopers. That's about it. So, not much resistance here. At the same time, we got the mech fights over here between Smokey and Hero. 
strike mechs that were built up trying to get some raiding pressure done now. There's quite a big wall heroes got here. I'm actually quite impressed with the, particularly on this side with the um, the base building. I think, I think they played quite well with the way that the map works and found a good solution to how open it feels. It's not like a complete wall, but it's it's quite a deterrent. It gives them a lot of vision. And then I feel like their economies are quite insulated away from their opponents. So here comes the air. He's waited for shields as well. Fast fighters and shields coming in here. And he's just going to get to kill so many workers. And hero as well is going to be feeling the brunt of this. A lot of workers dying here. And maybe Smokey should be bearing that in mind. Pushing forward with strike mechs now. And maybe trying to get a forward down here. Hunter is actually going to be building a fortress on this side. Attack the sacrificial lamb, maybe. He's still just sort of dying to the mounties and stuff here. And then all oh, the nice aesthetic farming. This is the problem with it. The garrison points so far away, and now the strike mate is coming in as well. To make this even worse, might be wishing he had his fortress over he back in his base where he can make some speeders to deal with those. Some interceptors out here, but no shields. How far away are we from shields? 98%. But they're not at full health yet. Take a little bit. Advanced turret too. He's not going to die, but this this really hurts. Look at his Nova workers. There's so many dying to the strike mechs. The strike mechs are such a huge differential in this pressure. No ski speeders being sent here. Does get a good trade here with advanced turret and you know some sort of hills... I couldn't really call which way the hill's going though. Maybe it made them last a little bit longer. But look at that, this is horrible. This is really, really horrible. Like, really, it's just had his economy decimated. Down to 70 workers. And even more strike mechs. And Hero's kind of set up just a lot of MDs defending himself, not sending any MDs over. Could just use a couple of speeders though. They are being made. But they're being kept over there. It's crazy to think, right? If you just built this fortress at home, he'd have speeders by now and it would counter all of this. I, I don't think he would have even lost a, a third of this. Just a couple of garrisons and some speeders and uh, he's sorted. And trying to chase Hunter around here now, keep him from killing off his wings. But the economy is going to start to dry up a bit. You can see the food's down to 100. Still has a nice little bit of Nova Bank, but you've got to remember that Hunter's got like three holocrons. So he could just keep trading these fighters all day long. And it's really not going to affect them too much. Like the food and the Nova is basically infinite. These are some bold gladiator. They're quite an expensive unit as well. This is a bit silly. We're walking into turrets in a fortress. Looks like that aggression from Ashman did stop. Not really done too much with his economy though. He's just very focused on fighting here. With very little eco. At least Ski Speeder's getting a few more worker kills over here. Looks like the strike mechs are all sort of dead now. We've got four speeders over here, but he's just not rallied them home. Where he really needs them. Hmm. So much air here. Mix of fast fighters and interceptors. And the cannons out, knocking down the walls. Difficult for Hero to get to. He does actually have like a decent amount of MDs and stuff to kill these off, but if you look at the access to them, there's not really much opportunity to get into a good spot to shoot at them. And they are now here as well. And they can't get through here. Maybe need to knock down some of the side walls or something. These cannons need to move forward, maybe. I really still got some air here to try and push Hunter away. I 
And I feel like Ashman's maybe burned out a little bit here. He's got one artillery hitting down this uh, command centre. But it doesn't have the same strength of troopers as he did before. A bit of an air trade here. As the command centre just getting knocked down here by the two cannons. He's going to try and uh, get some good shots here. As I can see, struggle to get a nice little spot there, but does pull away. Command center goes down. You see a little bit of a shield generator here from Ashman, I feel. This would feel quite strong with two turrets. Lord of the Rings Ashman here with two towers. And Greenlee must be building back all his workers to 93 now. Just for contrast, 112 here for Hunter. Setting up his trade. He's got three hollows too. I feel pretty solid with three hollows, 112 workers. Maybe he's going to grab some traders and stuff. It's just, what is he going to do with all that Nova? I th honestly think he needs to just get more air bases maybe and just play pure air here. I think a lot of people, I think even myself and quickly, like, with resistance, want to hop into those mech destroyers too early. And I think especially with this setup, with the holocrons, um, you could just play pure air, right? Attackers are really strong. And if you can have enough air to defend the attackers from like interceptors and stuff, like why not just go attackers? I think bombers are only really situated to that point where you've got full control, and there's you know there's no threat to the bombers. Then you can just go and kill somebody with them. But the attackers would be really nice to actually just trade through here. Like they wouldn't care about anything here. They wouldn't care about this turret. They wouldn't care about this fortress. They just kill all the units on the ground, and then you could just put like cannons behind them. Like a lot of people try to shift into the mech destroyers, get the cheap tech and everything, and then get all the war center upgrades and everything. It takes a long time, and I feel like you lose a lot of momentum doing that. It's not as quick um, as like the other civs where they just go into like troopers and stuff. Because like the mounties don't require too much. And then you've got something on the ground for a while before you get your trooper, your repeater troopers and stuff. The interceptor's getting a good trade there. I'm not sure where the air of uh, Hunter is. Did he manage to lose it somewhere? Ashman is really, like, there's just nothing here. It doesn't feel like attacks playing the game right now. A couple of gladiators over here. Ashman's, like, ramping. Imagine if he got to T4. He is T4. Imagine if he upgraded these. What, what world do you live in, Ashman, where you get heavy pummel right now? Look at this. Heavy pummel. Is this Fluffy Rabbit? Like, it's so sad to see. He has so many artillery, and you can just upgrade them. And yes, this heavy pummel will counter the three Mounties that are killing them now, right? It's, I don't know. He's Wookiees, it's sad to see this. He had such a good army together there. He just needed to protect a little bit, get the upgrades, and attack would really struggle here. As soon as these got the heavy artillery and 12 range, in come the Berserkers, though. It's only Pummels and Berserkers, I guess. He's, Ashman's on the memes. Uh, here come the Heavy Mech Destroyers again. They don't, they don't feel necessary, because you've got your, your wing as well, who's making mechs. I think you better to just stay here, here, as resistance. Especially, like, these spaceports getting set up, and then all this trade, and then you've got three hollows. Like, can you just play, like, a full air style? And then go, like, air cruisers? Because they feel like the only good Nova dump, really. Like, late game for resist resistance. There's also artillery, which is solid as well. And even that, that doesn't feel like it needs as much of a, a commitment as the max, in my opinion. Because you don't need all the war center upgrades. Just need to get heavy artillery and like the range upgrade. I think in like a game like this, I think the pure air is quite nice. Because again, attackers are so OP. <laughs> I 
This is such a traffic jam. Like constantly, there's just always there's always a ping. There's like a ping here every thirty seconds. You should just build an air cruiser at this point and attack ground or something. Right, Ashman sort of lost his momentum. And again, this is like Ashman seems to have these sort of waves, right? Where he builds up and he's got pressure. Now he's just rallying heavy pummels to their deaths. Is it not crazy to think that he's he's T four and he's making heavy pummels to kill a fortress? He has a fortress as well, right? Because he's making berserkers. You know, just make a couple of cannons. Attack has nothing for cannons. <laughs> I mean, is this is this a Giga Chad moment? He just keeps making them. Just gonna throw heavy pummels at his opponent until they work. I mean, it's also kind of amazing that there's no um, Mounties right now. Like, this thing is not... It's not going to damage of a Mountie for sure. Still, the traffic... This this wall is, like, the MVP of the game here. Look what it's done to them. <laughs> is that cannon just walking to its death here? I think Hunter like kind of had this game for a while, and like, the Smoky Venus is so angry he's made an AC. And on the mechs, I just feel like the mechs just doesn't further how ahead he was. So we got we got speeders over here. Ah, uh, the Mounties. See, that's going to be quite strong here as well. See a lot of fighters here. In they come. I don't see any strike max really. Fighters. Full armor as well, I think. 195 health. Only plus two. Need more one da more damage upgrade, but they're going to do absolutely fine here. Smashing through, and then got the MDs and the defilers coming up behind as well. Cannons going down here. And it's a long time they've been sieging from this position, and it's like they killed a fortress and a, a command center, but they've never really made any ground, right? And Ashman is just constantly he he's like playing a tank role right now. He's fully taunted on this side in attack space. Some interceptors show up, they can't look down anymore. Only look up. And yeah, this is like a huge, this is so nice for particularly Granuli and being rebels and the way that he's playing here. Because he needs this, he needs this sort of reset of everything. And this is why I kind of don't like the shifting out of the air as well, with resistance maybe against rebels here, because it lets them play towards their, their interceptors and like cancelling what air you have out. Rather than him keep a big dominant air force and like push the advantage earlier and force the trades and stuff while he had the holocrons and that. Now he's getting a reset. Granuli can just have interceptors that are better than uh, Hero's interceptors and cancel whatever air he has out. And then he has to use ground units, which are inferior really, because you don't get two war center upgrades. You don't get the armor, you don't get the damage. Some ski speeders, some MDs. Smokey too is taking a real while to get his like transition on the go. Some like frigates, some troopers, some mech. I mean like East Confederacy the you know we know what the unit is, right? The Magna Guard that would be absolutely smashing through all this. This is like the best Magna Guard map too, right? Same with like if you're Naboo for Royal Crusaders, like any sieve that got like good fortress units, this is the map for it, because you can just justify all those extra forts. I don't know what they were trying to build there, but absolutely not. Berserker is going to chase them as well. It's like he just he just aggroed this fortress. I 
Uh, Granuli here, sliding in the center. A lot of mounties up here. And yeah, like we talked about like what you can transition into off of air quickly. Like the mounties are top notch in that regard. Rebel, very strong early T4. It's like, again, what do you want to kill this as resistance? Well, probably air, but... He's going into the air now, so it's like, what, what was the point of the mechs? Really? I just don't feel like they've achieved much. And, like, what they're doing over here is just... This should this should be attack units, really. Like, where are, where's his army? You should have ground forces. And then the air just complements both sides as necessary. I almost feel like Hunter's playing the game for attack right now, over here. He's got the ground army, he's got the cannons. To be honest, you could say the same for the side of Smokey right now as well, because I don't really see much out of him. These are the kind of situations that I worry for, for Hunter here because he had such a huge advantage at the start of T4. But he's he's never like he never he didn't go and like go for the jugular properly, you know. And now he's at the risk of his teammates not really scaling in the same way that Hashman and Hero seem to be. Like, Ashman's just a complete menace on this map, man. He loves to make just, like, randomly annoying fortresses and stuff, and then he's got, like, more ore to do so. It's close spawns, it's open. He's just fought all game. It really suits his style. You got to dread to think how good Ashman would be if he uh, got, like, his macro down behind it. He'd be a real, real menace of a player to go up against in the wing. Now, this looks like some Ashman gameplay from uh, Greenly here. The one cannon just slowly hitting your fortress with nothing to defend it. The only thing it's fighting against is your attention span. And the Mounties coming across here. There's some strike mechs, but again, we need kind of need like a good group of fighters here when these moments happen. And they're getting on top of everything. There's so many cannons here as well. It's going to feel really bad. There's five cannons here. There's six cannons. Seven cannons. Seven, seven cannons going down is absolutely abysmal. But that is not a good feeling. And again, on the other side as well. And Grunley not really showing much intention to like transition out of mounties. He's just going to sort of play that um, more sort of Arnie style. Just the mass mounties forever. And just wear people down. Go for power cores and things like that. Don't see any repeaters yet, or some cannon pushes and stuff, or higher air tech, like ACs or attackers. Just pure mounty. Lots of farms down for it. And then we got berserkers as well. Berserkers and mounties, man, just destroying this side. The cannons. Optimal army composition. I'll oh, check a bit of a wall here. Keep the the masters out. And you could totally do that now, right? Because before we would have cargo hovercrafts, which would keep opening the gate. But the ones, these ones fly over now, so. Actual good deterrence for. Uh... Yeah, we, we don't think about that enough now. Because I used to think the, the ideal would be just, you know, like walling around it. So. Could probably do that more in team games now if people are just going for the freighters. Don't think it's applicable on every map though. I still think there are some maps where you maybe need to get like cargo hovercrafts for a little bit first to get like that Nova earlier and then transition into freighters. Yeah, 
And I do push everything here, but again, it's like there's no pressure on this side anymore. But then again, there's not really pressure for Granulian here on this side. They're just sort of they're sort of wiping things out and stalling the game, but they're not setting up behind it, right? So if you're going to keep making the mounties and wiping things, your teammates do need to like capitalize on it and push with it, you know? Like you wipe an army, they push in that position, they get ground. Because it's more, it's like a game of attrition with the way that Arnie does it. It's he's just, he's stalling things out and he's, he's wiping out armies and he's, he's banking on his teammates to then, you know, pick up from that point and push and sort of tighten the chokehold on the opponents. Again, I just I don't feel like there's much units out here for Smoky and um, attack. Like look at attack's population, sixty three, practically dead. Ashman on the other hand, one hundred thirty five, and the interceptors here are going to show up and they're just going to quite easily wipe out that air from this position. And make this a little bit easier for uh, attack to try and fight these units from Hunter. Kind of push of AMDs and enemies here. Why doesn't Hero have like um, a solid army? Maybe just getting cracking now. Some heavy mech destroyers. There's a few more showing up. The Zan Consortium. Like the best thing that they could probably do here into resistance would be like assault mechs. Because uh, they don't get masters. I get some strong ones. A few interceptors raiding here. And that is a problem. Could really on the way to put an end to it. Nashman did get his fort and shield up, but still units there. Oh, the trade begins. Half of them not there for Hunter, though. Better interceptors, too. For rebels. The Wookiee Assault Mech are going to walk into the fortress's range and die. Rip. Some Strike Mech raids here, Confederacy. Finally getting the troopers online, that's a bit better now. Still haven't seen any Magnet Guards though. Magna Guards would be so good into like the air, the pocket, mech destroyers. Need some grenadiers as well. I feel like Magna Guard Grenadier, that's the that's the meta comp right there. This is all attack has. Four glad droids. Needs to vastly just hunker down and boom and get back in the game. Like, probably for the last 20 minutes, you should have just been like making command centers and workers and workers and farms and workers and farms and workers while well, Hunter did all this. And then by about now, you should be able to help out. And you should be ahead of, a ta of a Ashman in that regard. I don't think it would be really much difference here with the, the units that he puts over on the side because there's very little of them. There we go, Magnus coming in. They're so good into this. Zam would maybe be okay with them once they get like their plus nine strike mechs and they've got enough of them but there's really not enough right here. You see when they do hit it's quite a bit of damage but again, just not enough right now. That's why you want some Grens as well because then the Grens can be just landing all their shots behind this. And you kill them so much quicker. Pushing in the shields is overextending. This Mounties were going to like meat shield as well. Need to mass up and try again. Just 
Witch Hunter again, fighting Ashman. Where are we at with tax economy? 79 workers now. Halfway there to what he needs. And Granuli is just sitting here on patrol, waiting for any freighters, but it doesn't really seem to be any, any freighters at all. I seem quite well set up for trading, but not really done so, just reliant on the holocrons. Three thousand ore though. Maybe you could get more uh, static defense. I mean, this would be a good map as well to just AA your trade fully, all the way down. Not really seeing that out of either team here. What is this? You could have built them right up against the edge, and you didn't. John and RVA triggered. The war. Oh God! I got a cup of tea. Forty-six minutes. Oh, grim. Oh, it's cold-ish. It's lukewarm. Luke Skywalker warm. The Grens. The Grens are here from Granuli. They're gonna get some big, big damage here. It's a much better composition right now. Oh, a differential, making it with That's not too bad. That damage. These things OP, potentially, like late game. Hundred fifty-six health. What? I mean, this unit's like. What if the pro bot was good? It's like the question. Takes a wee while for the speeder to kill him. Like five shots or something. Still chilling there on patrol. Hunter, on the other hand, getting all these traders and some Magna Guards sneaking. I don't know, where are they getting in here from? The side but Oh, there's a gap. Maybe. The Magnets are causing uh, mayhem though. And Granuli's pretty reliant on his trade because he doesn't have the hollows in the same way. I wonder if he managed to pick up any. No. Did anyone get like the other two? So there's two hollows that just never got picked up. There's one of them. And the second one. Pretty bad for Granuli. I kind of surprised that this is happening to him. Like the way that heroes split or hunters split himself through mechs and stuff. It should be pretty easy for him to just have enough interceptors at all times to get these out. And again, we did talk about like how easy it is to just a the trade. And Hunter really playing out of his skin, really, isn't he? He's fighting on both sides. He's harassing. He's like trying to win this game for his team. Doing way more than he should need to. Again, Smokey's teched up, but like not too much units, just the Magnus being harassing. If he just got some Magnus and the uh, Grens, he could probably like wipe the army here. Like he needs to get some cannons forward and stuff. Those interceptors finally going down. Looks like they'd clean the ones up here. Maybe pulled them home. Genuinely could have been that control group. Straight into more here for Hunter though. Granuli down to 91 markers. Yikes. 
It's a way to say that Hunter had like a better setup for population efficiency because he's got the three hollows and he's not really trading right now. So you could, you could have these units on the ground, you can have the air and stuff, but I mean, Garuli's only got 90 workers. But he's uh, absolutely broken Nova. 4k ore though. I've seen a lot of players holding a lot of ore in this game. And not like, there's a two, 2k on Ashman, that's... That should be like an impossible thing. That's almost four fortresses. He's just lost three. In fact, he's lost four. This is his fourth fortress that's going to go down, I think. Attack has an army here, some troopers. Fully upgraded repeaters. And some gladiator droids. Hero and Granuli sort of pushing through here, but again, granuli has got a lot of Nova overheads that he needs his traders for, and they keep getting sniped with interceptors, and looks like he started building some turrets. Not many, though. I mean, like, resistance MDs are not going to hold up against this. The missing armor. They got health and that, but missing armor and the damage and there's not really much threat to these units at all, so it's just like it's like a shooting gallery really, really for the grenadiers and the strike max. Fire as they please. What's Smokey up to? More forts. Now there's a the gap here. Kill the battery. Kill the power core in the battery. That'd be annoying. A fifth fortress gonna go down here. Oh, how did he get over there? Did he just walk up there? Oh, attack. It's uh, killing so many workers of Ashman here. I think Ashman just kind of just died. Like his flame is just burnt out. Like, look, look, a lot of farms not replaced and stuff. It's just broke. No Nova. Not much carbon. A lot of food, a bit of ore. He's just been building fortresses to stall. He's probably wondering why his teammates have not won on the other side, but... Is that much room for players to go and build back at this point in the game? Because all the carbon's in the centre, so... It's not like there's a nice little corner where you can go. There's a little bit of carbon left over here, but still... It's not like other maps. Speeder's getting some good free damage here. Don't know if there's any interceptors at hand. None at all, really. So, it's going to really come down to Granuli and Hero. And if they can beat the three of these guys, because I think Ashman's kind of clocked out for a while. I think at best he's going to make like one or two more fortresses and then that's kind of it. Like there's one. Not the best trade. Hero really should make some assault max. He's got 3k Nova. There's just like no good threat to them. Like they just they would smash through everything here, and they've already got such good ground anti ground. It's like they would add some like a little bit extra. It would just kill things quicker. Help these cannons get into position. At the same time, they should be making like turrets as well with this push right and just crawling towards this point. Get out of these awkward shallows onto the land. 
And they need to push quicker, they need to be winning, because Ashman's almost dead completely. And it's like they're almost racing against this army on the other side as well. Which is going to be tricky. Attack's really taking into anti-air stuff. Got that plus four range on the aim mobiles. Getting forward here. Smoky Venus is struggling here. We do have quite healthy trade on this side. Tag, you know, it's advanced turrets though. I feel like any. People having not having advanced turrets on this map is like unforgivable. You've no reason not to have it. With how much ore is on the map. It's like a report that guy after the game kind of moment, you know. Well, in come the Magnus. Oh that no, no. There are too many heavy strike mechs with plus nine there. It's going to look like they're getting killed by repeaters. <laughs> You've never seen Magnus die that quickly. Oh, that'd be like AC'd or something. I don't know if it's Smokey and Attack are babbling about while well, I... Uh, Hunter's carrying them right now. Sounds like they're arguing over very unimportant things. When they just need to uh, move these units up and kill before this side gets going. Anti air batteries, man, really? On this map, you've got budgets. Got ore budget. Rationing. Yay! Finally! Heavy assault mech. That is what's been needed. Quite a few fortresses here, quite a few cannons. Salt mech on the way though. But it's still getting kind of opened up on this right hand side. The magnets and the interceptors are just sidestepping the pressure and go for the trade again. And as I said, this really messes up Granuli. He needs this. He keeps, look, he's built so many traders again. He needs to be protecting them here. I feel like he should just have a lot of interceptors and a lot of fighters. Could just do that in Grenadiers. He's got like a hundred population free to play with as well. But I guess he's he's feeling the the effects of this harassment every time it happens. It's just not got that economy that you would want at this point in the game. Oh that's Ashman's not dead yet. No no no. He's gonna rally a bunch of cannons through the centre and start picking up fortresses and stuff. He's so, so annoying. In a good way, right? For his team here. <laughs> is that in range? Oh dear. I could hit it from here, right? What is this? He clicked on the power core. To be fair, I... I'm surprised. I thought this would die quicker. This fortress is uh, not that strong. <laughs> Shoot the fort, please. Can he survive? 
If everyone just hunkered down and hit the fortress, could he have survived? No, the attackers are here now. I feel like he could be dead by now, right? I think it still dies. Oh, maybe not. The attackers are so strong. I think it still needs like five shots. Really? 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 Are you for real? It's good. It's <laughs> what is this targeting? <laughs> You're not repairing that. No. Oh dear. Oh, the assault mechs are here for a smoky Venus. That's good as well. I mean, Grinley could get Masters, but I think he's a bit too poor for that. And again, speeders are always finding an opportunity to open up these armies. And I mean, Hunter, you've got 3k ore. Why don't you just build some A static defense for these guys? Feels bad, man. If you can't have the interceptors at hand, you can see he is popped. It's a real shame to see this pressure just go. And a lot of MDs swelling up on the side. It's only assault mechs here, not great on their own. They need that meat shield. How's attack ended up here with a couple of troopers? Oh god, they lost the spaceports here to the Magnus. Now they're going to call it. It's, t it's too much. Trade down, Grinelli can't really build the units anymore. That's kind of it. I have an entertaining game. Quite enjoyed that one. Um, again, I like I like the way that people built on this side. But uh, maybe got caught for too long here in that little choke. And I do feel resistance are maybe better staying in the, the air rather than going in the mech in that scenario. But they've pulled through. It did look a bit dicey though. To have such a big lead and then for it to look like they're going to get outscaled there. Um, but yeah, some good harassment. Keeping them down and... Uh, I'm gonna be on it like attack and smoky for a, a good while. We're just my like, hunter picked them both up and, and dragged them along for the longest time. But yeah, GG well played to everyone involved and uh yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. If you enjoy the content, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. If you want to get involved in these games that we play for GBG, though it's an old game, um you find a link down to voopley.com, which is like an emulation of the old MSN gaming zone where you can play online. You'll find the server invite for our GBG community, the RM++ Discord. And you'll find one for the Expanding Fronts Discord as well, which is the mod that we're playing here, which kind of just makes the game better and tries to make it a little bit more modern with some of the features, like multiple building selection and that. And if you want to support the channel in another way, maybe buy me a coffee, there is a PayPal the donation link down below in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.